Something a little bit different today on Dottotech. How we use Thinkific, which is our learning management system, our LMS, to create online courses for free or that we charge for. You're going to want to stick around. Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now today we're going to be taking a look at how we use Thinkific. Actually, I'm going to be walking you through the process of creating a mini course. Thinkific is an LMS, a learning management system that we use to create online courses. Now those courses can be delivered for free, they can be charged for, uh, you can use them as list builders, you can use them to support your community or train your team. There's a lot of different ways that you can use a good, L a good learning management system and I believe Thinkific is an awesome learning management system. So what we're going to do today, as I say, is we're going to kind of walk through our process or one of the processes in how we create our courses. Now this isn't going to be a super high-end expensive course that people buy. The course that I'm going to develop today is based on a webinar which I am about to deliver. It's actually about 8.45 in the morning uh, on a Wednesday. Every Wednesday here at Dottotech, we do Webinar Wednesday. And this week's webinar, I want to take and I want to convert it into a mini course, something that has longer legs than one of our regular webinars that allows me to continue to use this content to help grow our community and help support our community. It's a pretty heavy topic today, actually. We're going to be talking about how we deal with and how we handle fake news, something that I think has a lot of social impact. And so I want to make sure that the work that I put into delivering this, developing this webinar uh, continues to work for us. So I'm going to turn it into a mini course. Now I'm going to pause the video here uh, while I go and deliver the webinar. I come back after the webinar has been over and we'll show you how we take that webinar content and convert it into an online course. It is going to be some kind of awesome. I might as well talk you through a little bit of the process of how we deliver these webinars. Uh, we've got about 843 people registered at this point uh, for the webinar, uh, which is a little lower than our average. We typically get about a thousand, but it's, uh, as I say, it's not, it's not a productivity topic. It's a, uh, it's more about personal responsibility and social responsibility today, uh, this resisting fake news. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually on my notebook, which I have running beside this computer, which I'll be delivering the webinar from, and I'm actually going into my notebook right now, and I'm registering myself as a normal everyday participant in the webinar, uh, because what I'm going to do is I like to audit the webinar that I'm delivering. Now this has nothing to do really with the online course development. This is our process of delivering webinars, uh, but I thought you might be interested. Uh, so this is, uh, I'm registering for it right now. And then what I will be doing is uh, auditing it so that I can see exactly what's happening with the webinar, making sure the webinar feed is coming through cleanly. But then I'm also going to record it as a screencast on the notebook. The reason that I record the webinar as a screencast is I want the social proof. I want the engagement of the chat for my replay because we're going to be using that video that I record on screen, including the chat, at the heart of our online content for the mini course so that people that are watching the webinar in the future and going through the content will see the comments and questions in chat that are being asked by the live participants that are part of the actual live delivery of the content. I think it just adds a richer experience to the replay and to the mini course that we're creating. See you in a bit. Okay, it's the day after the webinar was delivered. It's now Thursday afternoon. Uh, Farley and I are settling in and we're going about the process of taking the content that we delivered uh, for our webinar and converting that into an online course. And that's the process that I will walk you through right now. Now, we don't take each and every webinar and convert it into an online course, but this model that we're going to show you now, we have done numerous times here at Dottotech and found it to be a really effective way of taking content and converting it into an online course. Now you could sell this course, you could charge for it, you could take this course and use it as a list builder. There's a lot of different ways that we can use this content once we've converted it into a course. Now before I take you into Thinkific and walk you through the process of how we actually build out the course, I'm going to talk to you about the assets that we're going to need for the course, which is going to include our webinar, any written content that we're going to have to incorporate, any graphics, any digital assets that we want to put into the course. Now, of course, in this particular case, the most important value that we can add is recording the webinar that we've delivered because it is the training, it is the training in itself all designed, 
and recording that and then bringing that into Thinkific so that people can watch that replay, which is the main tutorial benefit. But I don't wanna just have the, the, a complete, what we call replica replay, where you see me welcoming people into the room and you've got all of that preamble before you get to the meat of the webinar. We want to make things, uh, we want to make things more concise. I don't deliver my entire webinar live, although we are live the whole time. I pre-record what I call the meat of the demo about a 20 to 25 minute segment within each webinar, I pre-recorded in screencasting software so that I can make sure that the real tutorial part of the webinar is very concise, very accurate, uh, and well explained by using screencasting so I can zoom in and out on screens, I can incorporate other elements. So I've got a lot of control over the delivery of that content. So what we do in the actual webinar itself is I start it live, welcome everybody into the room, make sure they all understand what we're gonna be doing, deal with any technical issues that might be happening. I tell people what to expect for the rest of the, for the, the, for the duration of the webinar. Then I roll the B-roll, then I roll the inserted video that I've already created. Now I've uploaded it to YouTube, so it streams very nicely from YouTube onto everybody's system. They get high quality feed of the main content. While that is running, I remain in the chat room and I answer a lot of questions. Now the chat becomes incredibly valuable because of all of the questions and the interaction people have and the extra energy that the chat gives. So I consider that us being in the chat while the webinar main tutorial content is running increases the information density of the content that we're delivering. And it's been proven out. People really enjoy and find our webinars to be very valuable. Once it's recorded, I've got it captured on my notebook computer. I edit it on my computer and I trim out all of the top off this, uh, off the stuff off the top, all of the welcome to the room, hello, P hello Jim from Peoria. I, I cut out all of that stuff because nobody really cares about that except people that are in the live room. And I edit it and I start the webinar, I start the, the, re the replay pretty much where the main part of the uh, webinar content is delivered. So we cut right to the chase as it were. Uh, so I edit that and then I output that video and I upload that video into Thinkific. Uh, that's kind of the, the starting point of building out the Thinkific course. So that's the content. While in parallel with that happening, Sophia is writing extra content. We're making sure all of the webinar resources are put in place. Uh, Liz is creating any graphical elements that we're gonna need for the course. So all of that's happening kind of in the background as we're preparing to, to launch one of these courses. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's not, a, it's not an, a, a huge project and a huge undertaking, but there are a few different aspects that we have to pay attention to. Once this is all said and done, we're ready to start assembling the course. And this brings us now to Thinkific. Now Thinkific is one of a, a, a fairly large number of LMSs or learning management systems, which are basically web services that house your course content and provide you some functionality to manage your community. In the case of Thinkific, we can charge for our courses and they'll collect the money. It collects all of the people's uh, information, gives them access to their account, and, you know, gives them passwords, gives them user accounts, allows them to keep a library of all of their content. It enables chat going back and forth or questions to be asked. You can even use it for grading and for creating marks and producing certificates if you want. It's a very full featured online course package. And for us here at Dottotech, we've really rebuilt our business around using Thinkific to deliver much of our content. But what you see here right now is the course itself. Actually, let's go back out into the main Thinkific dashboard. So I'm gonna to go to Thinkific and show you how we get into the course. So in Thinkific, you've got a variety of different main areas, designing your site, managing your content, marketing and selling, so creating marketing materials and adding discount codes and pricing and all of that sort of stuff. And then supporting your students, which is where we manage all of the, uh, is where you manage students' accounts, give them access to courses, et cetera. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into manage your learning content and we're gonna create a new course. Now we've already created this course, so I'm not gonna start from scratch. Uh, but by clicking here, this brings me into all of my courses. So I can create a new course here should I choose to. So you see, by clicking there, that'll start the process of creating a course. But you can see we've got all of these other courses. Some of them we charge for, some of them we deliver for free and use as list builders. So these are the courses that just, this is now just under two years worth of courses. It's a lot. 
as you, uh, when I'm telling you that at Dotto Tech, this has become a big part of our business. This has become a big part of our business. And creating courses in here is uh, without the, the functionality that Think of It brings to the table, we never could have done this. So here is our newest course, Resisting Fake News. We've already dropped the graphic in and we've already kind of set the bones of the course in place. So it's just got placeholders basically now waiting, uh, waiting to... Uh, waiting to populate. So let's go in and let's edit. And you can see right away, it's not published. This here's a course that we delivered last week, making money on YouTube that we actually charge for and sell. Uh, that one is published. So let's go in and let's edit this course. Now the Thinkific interface gives us a fairly uh, structured environment to work within. We've got a curriculum here, which is all of the different modules. So each of these you can think of as chapters or modules for the course. I'll modify this all before we actually publish it, uh, but this gives us kind of an outline to work with. Now into each and every one of these different areas, we can incorporate additional content. And this is where you start to see the magic of Thinkific because this gives you, this, you might, your imagination should fire when you see the type of assets that we can bring in. You can bring in a video, which we are going to do. You can create a quiz. You can add a multimedia, like an animation type environment. You can create text, which basically creates a web page. In that web page, you can have any and all of the other media we're talking about. You can incorporate videos or uh, you can incorporate tables, all that sort of information. You can create a survey, upload a PDF, start a discussion forum. You can add just an audio file if, you, if, if your tutorial is just an audio. You can create a download link. You can upload a presentation from a standard presentation package and you can create a test, an exam. So we're gonna use, barely scratch the surface of all of the things that we can do. We're basically gonna upload a video, create a couple of text pages, maybe a download and that's it. Bob's your uncle, we're ready to publish. Uh, but you can obviously make it far more elaborate. Now, I have on my other computer already started the upload process here to upload the video because I edited it on my notebook and so now it has been uploaded and I'm just gonna save it over here now. And so now if we go in and if I refresh this, I hope I will see it. Let's go into our courses again. And let, there it is. Resisting fake news webinar replay. So we've got this, this video already uploaded into the course itself. Now what I'm gonna do next is, along with Sophia, we're gonna go through and we're gonna populate all of the additional content in here. Once you've got your content ready to go and you're ready to publish your course, then we have to determine if we're gonna charge for it, if we're gonna deliver it for free, uh, what we want to do with the students as they come in, whether we're collecting email addresses to add to our mail list, how we're gonna manage this content and how we're gonna leverage this content from a social marketing perspective. So let me jump into the course that we delivered about two weeks ago, which is a, actually a revenue course. And I, if I take you into that course itself, you can see here that we have the option to set pricing here. And this is where you can determine whether it's free, so you can use it as a lead magnet or as a bonus. Uh, you have a one-time payment or subscription or payment plans all available to you from this module here. So this kind of decides exactly what sort of a course it's gonna be, revenue course or a lead generation course of some sort. But there is one more thing that I wanna show you, and that goes under the marketing module where we go into integrations. Thinkific has the ability to collect email addresses, to collect money. It also has the ability to integrate with a variety of different other services. And if we scroll down here, you can see that I have it integrated with Infusionsoft, which is our CRM. So when somebody registers for one of our courses, one of our free courses, which this one's gonna be, I wanna make sure that I identify that they've registered for that course and that I've tagged them through and captured their information in Infusionsoft where I can send emails to them, et cetera. If I go in here and edit my configuration, the integration with Infusionsoft allows me to create tags that inform Infusionsoft of people registering for individual courses or for any of our general courses. So if we tag a full enrollment here, I can go through and I can choose which course I've got, and here's our new one, Resisting Fake News, and it's got no tags assigned right now. I can add a tag to that course, and it will go through 
and it will look through all my list of tags that I have in Infusionsoft. So I create the tag in Infusionsoft, I apply the tag here. Then when the person enrolls in the course, Infusionsoft gets the record of the new person, their email address, and what course they've signed up for and any other information that I happen to want to capture at that moment. Uh, but this integration with Thinkific coming through to Infusionsoft is one of the core features that allow Inf uh, Thinkific to work as a kind of a marketing partner for my marketing and CRM software. The entire process creating a mini course will be done by the end of today. I delivered the content yesterday. By the end of today, we'll have all of the pieces in place and we'll be already publishing this course and it'll be working for us as a list builder. And I can't imagine that there's an easier way to create lead magnet type courses or even revenue courses than the model that we're working through here uh, using the combination of Thinkific and webinar delivery. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, I am a Thinkific affiliate. If you click on one of our links uh, and you decide that you want to enroll with Thinkific and purchase it, I, I will be compensated. And for that, I give you a big thank you very much. And I hope that you enjoy using this tool as much as I have enjoyed using this tool. And it benefits you the same way as it's benefited us. Well, if you have any comments or questions, I look forward to reading them in the comments below. I don't have time to reply to each and every comment, but I promise you I read everyone. And I'd especially like to know if you want more videos covering the development and delivery of online courses. Happy to provide them if you're interested. If you found today's video to be useful, two favors. First, please share this video with your friends. Let them know how awesome Thinkific is. And if they don't know about the Dotto Tech channel, let them know about us and please subscribe to this channel if you are not yet subscribed. Make sure when you do, you hit that notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.